This is gonna be a long video, I'm sorry guys. Hello everybody, today I am in my new filming space. I got a newish desk. We had this desk since we moved in to the trailer since we've been married and it's been just gathering stuff in the other room. We were thinking about tossing it and then I had the bright idea of moving it into our bedroom so that I could have a place to do makeup, do artsy things and edit because he has so many workspaces and I have none. So yay, I got a new I got a new play place. That's exciting. So today was SE Comic Con in Greenville. So it was just like right down the road from where I live, which is great. I'll be honest, I'm not used to the type of con where you just walk around and buy things. I like a little bit more substance to my cons. I've, I think I've been spoiled with the Harry Potter cons having like panel after panel or multiple panels. So if one of the panels doesn't have what you want, there's another one that probably will suit your fancy. So this one was kind of eh. I mean, there was a lot of stuff to buy and a lot of stuff to look, that, look at and a lot of cosplay. I did take as many photos as I could of cosplays that I really enjoyed. And it's good to see that there is a nerd based fandom in the area. So. We've got that. Now it wouldn't be a con if I didn't buy things and I always buy things at cons and I tend to go a little overboard and this time was no different. This time I kind of almost went more with mystery boxes than anything else. I do like a good mystery box at a con because at least with the con you can see what that artist's art style is like and if you like it you can you can you can get it and you you know that in the stuff in the grab bag you'll like as opposed to like the ebay grab bags or mystery boxes that you don't know the person that you're buying from and you tend to get crap like a lot of the youtubers out there have been getting so I'm okay with buying grab bags at a con because then I have like a background into who's selling it to me. So today is my haul of the SE Comic Con of 2018. This is all this stuff. A lot of it has been like put into one big bag. Um, most of the stuff is in this yellow bag and then this was just a random grab bag that I bought. So let's get started. First I'm going to open the grab bag that I have opened up already. I opened this up at the con because uh, I bought this with my friend Mika. The first thing that I got really really excited about because you guys know I love fascinators. This, this little fascinator, it has like little pearlescent uh, wings and a heart and it's just in the lace. And I normally am not a pink person but this is just really too cute to not wear so I'm gonna wear it right now while I'm filming. The next thing which I thought was hilarious was a My Little Pony grab bag inside of a grab bag. So in the My Little Pony grab bag were these three buttons and they're all cutie marks. I'll be honest, I, I do like My Little Pony, but I'm not familiar with these cutie marks. So if you guys know whose cutie marks these are, leave them in the comments down below and I will look into that. The next thing I got was this dice bag, which at the time, whenever I first opened this, I had no idea what this was until I re recognized Baymax's lig. This is a big Hero 5 bag. I'm really sad that Baymax is not a prominent feature in the, on this bag, but it's still a really cool bag and I can hold a lot of stuff in this. I could probably use this in my derby bag, which would be great. I could hold my tools. It's really sturdy. It's gonna be used. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention the artist or maker of all these things. It's the colors of cosplay. I will have everybody's link down below in the description, but I love this business card too. Like, look how colorful and pretty that is. I love rainbows. That's something you're gonna have to learn from me. The next thing, if you don't already hear it, is this. Uh, it's a choker. It's, a, it's supposed to be a choker with a bell on it. My neck is too big right now, so I definitely would not be able to fit this around my neck even if I were to untie it and tie it at the lowest possible place I could. But once I start losing weight and start getting a smaller neck, I will definitely wear this as a choker. But right now, I could probably wear it as like a bracelet. It's cute and I love bells. I'm really annoying with bells, so I probably should put this away. The next thing came in this little mesh bag and it's a little compact mirror. And there's the mirror part. I've been needing some for my person. On the back of it it says keep calm and cosplay. 
then panic, which I think is hilarious. I love this. There's two more items in this grab bag. The first one is this cute little ring with all these little pink and white roses on them and then a gem in the middle. It's super cute. And then the last thing is this little phone charm, which I don't have any hang of phone charm on, so I might just put this on my keychain. But it's this little skull bead, which I, I really, really love these types of beads. All in all, I definitely got more than $20 worth in this bag, at least in my opinion. So I'm really happy with it. The next mystery box that I'm going to open up is this Pokemon box, which is a really cute box in and of itself. That's mostly why I bought it. This was $15. The guy at the stand said that you need to check the box and come meet me before closing time because these have coupons in them for a possibility of winning something. I opened my up just to look at the coupons and nothing else. And one of the coupons was a free 8x10 print. When I saw this print, I knew I had to have it. It was from Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. It is Toro. And I love it. It's so cute. The guy that was running the table drew this and it's pretty true to form. That is the print that I got for free. So on to the box. I also got a second coupon in there for a dollar off of any $10 purchase either at the con or on their Etsy store. So I will definitely be using that whenever I have money in the future. My first thing I'm noticing in this box is this Pokemon coaster. It's very, it's very sturdy, like very and it has a cork bottom to protect your table. I'll be honest, I don't know which Pokemon this is. I love Pokemon, and I'm very knowledgeable about Gen 1, somewhat knowledgeable about Gen 2, and then after Gen 3 and up, I kind of lost a little bit of interest, I'm not gonna lie. Oh yeah, this is artfulsun.com is the artist. Then we have a little Merle keychain. It actually is a, it's a phone charm. I'm gonna have to figure out a way to use this. But it's cute! The next thing is showing, it's a Venusaur box bottle cap keychain which is really cute if you can see that yes and then we have a Vaporeon bookmark I'm not a big fan of these types of bookmarks but I do like hanging them off of stuff to decorate and then it looks like the last two things are stickers oh they're holographic too first one is a Raichu and then the second one is a Vulpix oh my god isn't that so pretty I'm definitely putting these on my bullet journal all right so that's the first mystery box next thing you guys are remember these. I opened these back from Mochi Day a couple of years ago. We got pins, grab box, a video game characters grab box, and then a Nicktoons grab box. So we'll see what's in these really quick. We will start with the pin box since that was the first one that I picked up today. Ooh, first thing I see is an enamel pin. It looks like it is a X-Men Apocalypse button from whenever it was in the movie theater. Hey, I like X-Men. Not a big fan of the movies. However, I do like X-Men and that'd be a really cool, um, thing to use for cosplay. Oh, it's a minion button. Oh, there, you're, just, oh, you're always going to get something that you don't like. Um, I'm definitely going to have to find somebody to take this off my hands. I'm not, I don't like minions at all. Dig the shades is what it says. Yeah, this is going in the note pile, but I do see something at the bottom of this that I, I already know that this is worth more than the 10, the $5 box. This is, I don't, this is another one that I don't know the character of, but it's a high quality like enamel pin. I'm going to have to research this and like like it because that is gorgeous so I already know that this is more than that box so yay if I take away one thing that I don't like from that box I still have this to take away from that so that's great all right on to the Nicktoons box all right first thing I see is a Spongebob it just looks like a like a, a toy Spongebob it looks like a finger puppet <laughs> Spongebob finger puppet I used to be a huge Spongebob fan back in the day so I do not mind that. I do know that this is from Fairly, er, Fairly Odd Parents, but I do not know the character's name. Oh, I got a Gary! Oh, I got a little Gary! That I'm happy with. I am happy with Gary. Oh, I see Timmy. Uh, I guess he's cosplaying as uh, Captain Chin, but we got a Timmy, and then we got another Spongebob with the ukulele. I'm, a, I'm overall happy with this box. Uh, it was very Spongebob and very odd, fairly, fairly odd parents based, but I liked it. Definitely not disappointing. Last box, the video game character box. Okay, let's see what we have here. Okay, so we have a Sonic. It's a Sonic phone charm where he's Super Saiyan. When he's in a chaos mode. <laughs> I think all of these might be phone charms, but I'm okay with that. Uh, we have the note block from Super Mario Brothers. And then one last thing. Oh, this is from Nintendogs. Oh, it's a little doggy! But it looks like a phone charm as well. Uh 
if I can get it open. Oh, it's a little doggy. And this is from Nintendogs, so got a little Paul keychain. I think the only mystery box things I have left are like little mystery bags for stickers. And I think the rest of it is stuff that I bought out because I liked what I saw. Okay, so last mystery box stuff are these mystery packs with stickers in them um, from Hidden Talent Illustrations. So let, I got two anime and then two video games. So let's see what the stickers these are. These were $5 a pack and then... If you bought three, you got one free. So all in all, I spent $15. Okay, so the first one's anime. Part of the ship, part of the crew, which I don't know what that's from. And then we have a little badass boss gangster babe. The next one is the an other anime one. All right, so it looks like I got the same one, part of the ship, part of the crew so I got a double that's my first my first <laughs> duplicate I was doing so well and then all oh, <laughs> he's eating pizza it's so cute anime's ones are out of the bag now on to the video games these I might have a little bit more understanding with because I'm not as knowledgeable about anime I do love anime but I'm more knowledgeable about video games and first one <laughs> I think this is super cute Assassin's Creed <laughs> but he's using a <laughs> balloons to float that's really cute. I enjoy that. And then another Assassin's Creed one where he's asking the eagle for his leaf. And then my last video game one. Oh, that's that's really cute. It's Daisy, um, Peach, and I'm just blanking. Just blanking. Blanking blank. Rosalina! Rosalina. I didn't even have to look it up. All right, so we have uh, Daisy, Peach, and Rosalina doing the uh, speak no evil, or hear no evil, speak no evil, see no evil. That's probably my favorite one of the bunch that I bought. And then we have some characters from Mass Effect, which that's really cute too. All right, so that's it for the mystery boxes. And now on to the things that I bought knowing full well what I was getting. A lot of them were buttons. Okay, so one of the artists had buttons for free and it's basically her, her logo. She's if you'll focus, camera, the moth, and it's Gypsy River Crafts is the name of the artist, which that is a really pretty moth. I really enjoy that. Kind of almost looks like the moth from Butterfly Effect, which is hilarious because the it's supposed to be butterfly, butterfly Effect, but it's actually a moth that's on the cover of that movie. Did anybody notice that was weird? I find it weird. The next thing I got, not only got one for myself, but I also got one from for my friend, it's the only gym I go to is the Pokey Gym, which I think is hilarious. I also got her, since she is Team Instinct, I got her a Team Instinct button because I thought she would like that, and it was only a dollar. The artist that did the Pokemon Gym button is Allison Barto. So the last thing that I got from Allison's booth was this little cat donut. She had a little pod dispenser, like the little toy dispensers that they have at grocery stores and stuff, but it was more uh, in the Japanese. Japanese style and you could get any of these uh, phone charms and I got the donut cat which I was excited about because I love cats and I love donuts so yay and I believe she drew this as well so this is also her one of her designs. From here on out I'm kind of lost as to who did what so I'm going to put the artist name here if I forget and then I'll also have the link down in the description as well. The next buttons that I bought were from this really, really cute artist. She was adorable. I should have taken a picture of her booth because it was just gorgeous. And the bag is really cute too. And I love her butt. I really, really love her butt. But the first one is Princess Peach Butt. This is like a derby button for sure. And then the next one she had was a 20-sided die that says die in the middle. The next one, which I fell in love with, which is the reason why I came back to the booth, was uh, this sword with Fight Me. And then the last one that I got was also this queer as hell button that I love to death. Her artwork is gorgeous. Gorgeous. I loved her booth. I just wanted to keep going back but that would be really stalkerish of me and I didn't want to come off across as that. <laughs> These next things are actually the first things that I bought and I kind of I saw that he had Ruby characters drew, drawn so I saw that he also had bookmarks so I got a whole bunch of bookmarks. So I got all of Team Ruby and they're metallic too so they're even prettier so we have Ruby which I think that's, there we go. Weiss, Blake, and Yang. He also had John and Kira, which I think there might have been more, but I didn't really look because I needed to get away from there. I also would have spent more. And then I also bought um, Turo and Kana from 
Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. Again, I'm obsessed with this anime and I've only been watching it two weeks. The next thing I got was from the Peachy Collective and it is a Sailor Moon pin, but Sailor Moon's legs all tatted up. So if you look, you can see that she has the um, her staff on her leg. There's hearts and bows and it's just really, really cute. And I, like, I saw it and she said that it was a Comic Con exclusive and that I couldn't keep my mind off of it. So I was like, I need to get it. It will definitely match my Coraline and Polyjuice potion pins that I have on my purse. I think that's it. Is that it? Yep. That's it, y'all. That was my Essie Comic Con haul, y'all. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and I hope that you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and thank you for joining me. Bye. Subscribe, comment. If any of you want that minion button, let me know and I will hit you up and let you have it. Oh, and you might have noticed the cork board in the back. This is an old cork board that my husband used to use and there was nothing on it and it wasn't being used so I asked him if I could have it and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put a cloth on top of the cork so it's a little prettier than what it is and then I'm gonna put buttons on them and I'm gonna do a button of the day all the buttons that I got today are gonna go straight on the cork board once I get the cloth on it and then every day after I put a video up I'm going to showcase a button or pen that I have gotten over the years and if I can remember the artist's name I will also feature them as well I might do more than one a day and it depends on how long the video is so all of the buttons all the pens unless it's going on my purse are going to go up on the board next time you see it so yay again thank you for watching and you guys have a great day